Okay, after a 15 hour bus ride from the city of Berlin, Germany, I've arrived here, the small town of Bled, here on the shores of Lake Bled in the country of Slovenia, officially the 50th country I've ever visited. So I'll be spending the next week or so here in Slovenia. Uh, I'm going to spend about three days here in Bled while also exploring Triglav National Park, which is close by, as well as Vinter Gorge, which I'm really excited to see. And then I'll be heading to the nation's capital of Ljubljana for a few nights. And then I'll make my way down to Croatia for the first time. It's 8 a.m. here at the moment, and I can't check in until 1 p.m. So I'm going to try to go book some excursions and maybe find some food. And once I can check in into my hostel, it's nap time. Okay, so I finally ended up being able to check in at 1 p.m. And I ended up taking a very large nap. So I slept most of the day, ended up getting some dinner and going back to bed. So it's the next day now. In a little bit, I'm going to be heading to one of the most popular destinations in the entire country. It's called the Vintar Gorge. It looks absolutely stunning. I've always wanted to go there when I've dreamt of coming to Slovenia. So firstly, let's do a little walking tour of the town of Bled, a town of only around 8,000 people. So it is quite small. Like Bled is definitely another place I've wanted to come my entire life. Uh, the island you see way out there, the cathedral, we'll walk over there later tonight. That used to be my wallpaper on basically everything. My phone, my PSP, my little notebook computer. Let's go see if we can get in this church. There's nobody here. I definitely feel like this would be full of tourists if it was in one of the more popular destinations here in Europe, but nobody here. All right, now I'm gonna hop in the shuttle to the gorge. It's about a 10 minute ride, so not too far. Okay, we have officially made it to the gorge. Let's go, should take about two hours to walk the whole thing. There are a few places around the world that I've just watched over and over on YouTube, uh, specifically drone footage, dreaming that one day I could get some drone footage at these places. Bled is one of those places, and to be honest, I think that the footage I got is better than anything I've seen online, so I'm over the moon about it. And I haven't even gotten to the Alps yet, so I'm excited for that tomorrow, bright and early. Just look at this place. It's so beautiful.
All right, heading to waterfall number one. Hopefully the sun pops through here. Okay, we just arrived at a lake called Yasna Lake, also one of the famous lakes here in Triglav National Park. I'm gonna try to get the drone in the air. Squad. I'm gonna try to. Mm. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, no, you're fine. Italia. Don't have the checks. Oh. Okay, so yesterday was an amazing day driving all through Triglav National Park in the western part of Slovenia and also the Italian Alps for a few hours, which was amazing. Uh, but today I'm taking a bus to the capital city of Ljubljana. It's not a massive city by any means. It has a metropolitan population of around half a million. So I'm just spending one full day there. Uh, it's my last day in Slovenia and then tomorrow I'll be heading to the country of Croatia for the first time. So let's go try to catch a bus to the city of Ljubljana. Okay, I'm all checked in, freshened up, it stopped raining. Let's go see how beautiful this city really is. All right, I've made it to the Ljubljana city center, and yep, it's beautiful. Let's do a little walkthrough. This is one of the most famous, most popular parts of the city. It's called the Three Bridges. And this is the main square up here. If you don't know too much about Slovenia, it's located here in Central Europe, not Eastern Europe. It used to be part of the former Yugoslavia, now it's its own independent country. It's only the size of Massachusetts, so it's quite small. The national language is Slovenian, and it's home to the greatest basketball player in the world, Luka Doncic. 
is actually from the city I'm standing in right now, Ljubljana. I wanted to spend a little more time in Slovenia, but it is quite expensive. So I'm gonna have to keep moving just because the price of accommodation is quite high, especially in the summertime. But my goodness, absolutely stunning city. Ljubljana. So this is another one of the famous bridges here in Ljubljana. It's called the Dragon Bridge. The dragon is somewhat of a symbol of the city. So you'll see these statues of dragons all over the city. And way up on this hill is the Ljubljana Castle, another one of the famous landmarks here in the city. So I'm gonna head back to the hostel. That about wraps up my time here in the country of Slovenia. It is a magical place. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time in Croatia.